the reason why what's your reason reason why what's your I love my intro. I love it so much. It's so me. It's so goofy. It has a little bit of seriousness, but it's like, what, like this? Like, oh my God, this is my favorite part. Oh my God. Okay. So today's topic is about why I used to be shy. Mm, I'm going to talk about it. So I had the part about the tea, even though that this is water. <laughs> Like I thought I became shy like after sixth grade because I was bullied and that was, that's a different story. I'm trying to analyze myself right now. So let's analyze with me. Okay. So I was really always shy. I guess I was born that way. At home, I would be really loud. I would be loud with my brother. My brother was like, he was my best friend. We, we like went our separate ways, but we used to like, we used to play all those kitty games together. Uh, we had this game called Dark, like we would be in the bathroom with a flashlight, and then like we'd be scaring ourselves like, what's gonna be over here? What's gonna be over here? And then my dad would come in, he'd be like, like he'd, he'd just like scare us. From the ages of like, from the ages of like preschool, to first grade, I moved around a lot. So I was in I was in preschool and kindergarten at this one school, and then I moved to a different school at a very young age. So I never really got that like 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 I know how to make friends. This is how you naturally do it. I I moved to a different school in first grade, and I was so scared. And I still remember the first day I was just crying, and the teacher was kind of annoyed. She's still my favorite teacher till this day. But she was really annoyed and I probably would have been annoyed too if a kid was just crying. I don't know. But I was just crying because I'm just like, I just moved. I don't know any of you people and my mom has to leave. No, that's not fair. I'm a kid. I'm six. I don't know. I was so scared and I was just like, what am I going to do? I don't know any of these people. These are all strangers. I don't know how to make friends. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. And it was just really scary. So... I think that really affected me because like obviously I still remember it. I guess everything slowly got better but I don't really remember having like friends unless they were my brother's friends because I started like thinking about this the other day. I I was always better with his friends than I was with my friends because I didn't really vibe well with people my age and that's changed a little bit. I feel like my brother's friends were like already evaluated like I knew that they were safe to hang out with and I knew that they were cool and I knew that you know, like it was okay to hang out with them. Like they weren't gonna do me wrong because my brother doesn't like, he's not friends with people who are rude or mean or jerks or anything. Kind of like cuts those people out. Like you can't do that. Like, no, we will not settle for that. You can't treat us badly. <laughs> I've always been better with older people, I guess in that way. Cause I felt like in a way, like if you're older, like at least by three years, then you know, I'm gonna vibe with you. I'm gonna like understand you because I was always born an old soul. Like obviously when I was in first grade, I was a baby. I'm just like, <laughs> And so like, yeah, so I stayed at the school that I was at in first grade all the way up until sixth grade. Like, in that time, like in between those like five years, I kind of felt like I was better at talking to people and making friends, but then sixth grade happened, then I was bullied. And then, you know, it was kind of like they called me ugly and like I've always worn extensions like like in braid form and like they were saying like like I didn't have any hair and I was ugly and all this other stuff and I'm just like because when you're a kid you don't know if people are if all of everyone is going to be that way or if it's just these people and going at at life like being a noob in life like being 11 years old and experiencing that kind of pressure and bullying and just bad behavior you you have a different outlook on life because that's that's what you first experienced that's what that's what happened to you that's how you see life and so after sixth grade like i had to get out of that school like i didn't want to like i felt like oh, okay this is going to be my life and my mom's like you have to move to a different school like she didn't give me a choice and I, I was crying i was just like no mom my friends are here what friends girl what are you talking about these people are treating you like crap so then i moved to a different school again in in seventh grade 
and um, let's just say <laughs> I was still shy because again i was in that first grade situation where i didn't know anyone and like i thought i was crazy because every time i moved to a different school i start crying even in seventh grade i mean i thought i was a baby i thought there was something wrong with me but like like i was still a kid like i was still like 12 and i'm just like oh my god my mom has to leave me again she's gonna leave me again and like i don't blame my mom like of course she has to go like she can't stay with me and hold my hand throughout life She's my best friend. She's amazing. She always talks to me about everything, which is why she got me out of that bullying situation, which is why she moved me to another school, and which is why I'm the person I am today because she she helped me get through those. Like she listened to me every time I had something to say. She listened to me <laughs> whenever I was crying and like even in like when she got annoyed when I was like when I had like a crush on a boy. Like my family still makes fun of me because of my crushes, whatever. I guess that's a normal part of life. I moved to a different school in the seventh grade. Um, and I stayed there till eighth grade because in eighth grade, you graduate. And so, I was so shy. I mean, <laughs> and I was shy throughout high school too. Like, it was a never ending cycle, it felt like, because, and I kind of like, now I'm just like, I'm glad I moved from Chicago to Minnesota because I just felt like, I mean, Chicago has amazing people, and it's an amazing place, but I felt like it wasn't the place for me because I had all of those experiences where I was just growing up. And I, I guess people, sometimes we just need to move because, like, when we grow up in a place and we've had certain experiences for such a long time, we feel like it's because of that place. And looking back, I can, I can understand that. Um, in high school, like, I didn't like high school, really, because people were fake, and people were doing this and that. Like, I had, pl like, I had certain friends, like, I'm just like, okay, I love you, this isn't you. But, like, there were certain people that I didn't really like, because they seemed to have it all figured out. And I didn't, I'm like, why aren't you shy? What happened to you that you're not shy? Like, why, why can you, like, talk to this person and I can't? Like, I literally couldn't talk to people sometimes. I literally couldn't speak. I I would think about it. <laughs> I would think about it. And uh, uh, mm, no. I wouldn't talk to those people. And part of it, like sometimes it was like, uh, you know, whatever. I don't need to talk to those people. Like some people I didn't want to talk to because I knew they'd kind of be bad for me. Like they'd be bad influences on my life, sadly enough. I did have to run into people that I thought I wanted to talk to, but they turned out to be not so good for me, and it really affected me. And the real world is definitely more different than high school, and I really like that. And I feel like you don't have to put up a face to like fit in or anything, because like you're in the real world and nobody's gonna take your crap, you know? It's, it's about being yourself and because some of the things that happen in high school they're not gonna fly in real life so I used to really hate that I was shy and I kind of still do but in some instances I really appreciate who I am like I, I love who I am I love myself and I love who I'm becoming and who I've become uh, and I like I, I, I like really appreciate the fact that I didn't do some of the things that some of the people I used to know did like like go to parties and like do things that I didn't necessarily need to do because that's why I am where I am right now. Like I I went home and I learned songs and I, I, I realized what I wanted to do with my life and I realized like I now know what I want to do for the rest of my life and I've known since I was in like preschool but I mean like I really started to understand how to pave the way in my life like and maybe I didn't like learn exactly how to make friends but I did learn how to meet the right people and make solid connections and when I got to college and even if, even though it was only a year I think that's a, that's all I needed each year I promised myself that I would be outgoing and and that I would I would just I would stop be shy I would, I would stop be shy I would just stop but it was so unrealistic because I had to go through those stages in order to get where I was. I was terrified when I came out to Minnesota. I was like, I promised myself one more time. I was like, okay, for real, you, you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta toughen up. You gotta, you gotta 
be yourself. I knew how I was at home, but when I got outside, it was like I forgot. And that sucked. It really, really sucked because I knew I could be better, right? And so when I got to college, I still, it was still there. I was still shy and it sucked for the first day. But when you're in college, everyone's so cool. They're so cool. On the first day that I, I was alone, like I had to say bye to my family, I was crying, but I, something told me I was gonna be okay. And, and I have been, and I will be. I know that. I'm here alone all the time. Like, and I can call my mom and my dad and my brother whenever I want. Like, they are there for me. And so on the first day of college, I met my best friend. Oh, sorry, his name's Tony. If you're, if you're new to my channel, you don't know that Tony's my best friend. <laughs> so. Yeah, and he is transgender, and I didn't, I didn't care. Like, I cared on a on a level that I would support him in any way, but I didn't care, like, it didn't freak me out, like, like, I was already accustomed to, like, knowing about that, and I thought it was freaking cool, because, because he, he has an amazing personality, and, um, he taught me a lot about the LGBT community, and just seeing him grow as a person, and get used to being on T, Oh, and if you don't know what that is, that's testosterone. Like, just seeing him grow, seeing him grow as a person and as a man is so inspirational because I, I asked him, like, because I had already gotten um, close to him, like, when he was in the beginning stages. I was just like, is your personality going to change? Like, what's going to happen? He's like, no, dude, I'm going to be the same person. I was like, okay, fine. Okay, cool. Like, that's fine. So I'm like, I don't know, just be my best friend forever because I don't want you to change. And... And like he has changed, but not in the ways like he's not he's not rude or anything. Like he's changed in the best ways. Like he's getting to know himself more than he ever has before, and that's all that you can ever ask for. And we're 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 the same in a lot of ways, but we're the same in that way because I didn't know who I was gonna be. I knew I wanted to do music, and I knew that I wanted to be successful, but I didn't know who Jasmine was. You know, like I needed to turn on that light. And every day I'm finding out more about myself and every day I find out how funny I am. On that day of college, I was in this meeting that we were in. We had to be in this like, you know, the lounge on the sixth floor. We had to be in there. I was, I was a little lonely at first because I'm just like, oh crap, this is going to be just like high school. Nobody's talking to me. Everybody else is talking to each other. It really sucked. And then I went outside <laughs> of the lounge and... There he was, there was Tony. And he was so friendly. And we had like seen each other on on Facebook and he was so friendly. He's just like, oh my God, I've seen you on Facebook. And like, we had this like instant connection. Like, like I wanna be in your life. I wanna be your friend. I wanna be, like, I want us to be friends forever. And he gave me a hug and I'm like, oh my God, this is different. I like it, you know? <laughs> and so ever since then, I had a different outlook on life. I had a different outlook on my college experience. I opened up and literally I was myself from then on out. Because like we went back um, to my dorm, my dorm room with um, my roommate and his roommate. And we just talked and it was a really good night. Like it was a really good change of pace. So the reason I was shy, I guess you can like say that it was because I moved around a lot and I was bullied. Like, if you if you want to put it in a little box. But it's really so many more things and so many more things throughout life that happen. And now I'm different. I'm, I'm still an introvert sometimes, but I'm an introverted... <laughs> I'm an introverted extrovert. And that's totally fine. I'm okay with that because with that I get to be myself. And it comes with... Kind of just, I don't know, I'm really goofy, but I'm careful, if that makes sense. I hope you guys like this vlog, and I hope you like and subscribe to my channel, Jessicality. And I hope you follow me on Instagram, at also Jessicality. Um, if you guys have any more questions, or if you want me to talk about anything else on this channel, please comment down below and let me know, and I will be sure to talk about those. Alright, have a great day, guys. Bye!